Hey everybody, I hope you are having a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me here on my channel. I'm here doing your Wednesday, the 9th of January 2019 love reading for all fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I'm going to tip you guys on down here and check out your cards. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs? Wednesday in love. All right, communication, receiving um, a message from somebody, whether it be an email, a text message, um, could be an earth sign that you are waiting on, um, hearing from, uh, or somebody who's just stable, grounded, uh, waiting for somebody to, uh, yeah, waiting for somebody to offer you something that is balanced, fair. The person that you are waiting on, or that you're waiting on, the person you're connected to has the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Your outcome. Is the three of pentacles in the upright. Oops. The page of wands. And the page of swords. Your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the nine of wands. Clarified by the Chariot in Reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. Wow. Five major arcana in a row on the bottom of your deck. Um, I'll go over those at the end because that will be the prediction. So, okay. So, yeah, um, you could have been waiting to hear communication from this person um, for the last eight weeks, eight days, eight months. Uh, let's see here. Why is it eight of wands here? Thank you. Yeah, um, more than likely you've been waiting to hear from somebody who has retreated, who has secluded themselves, who has stepped away from the world and um, really went within to see what it is that they wanted to do. You could be connecting with a Virgo here. Um, you got Virgo and Libra for your major arcana here, but can be any earth sign, um, but somebody who had to take a step away to, um, to go within and see what it is that they wanted. You've been waiting to hear from them. They have been holding back. They are sending you a message today. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Or if not today, in the next couple of days, you know, time is fluid. Um, yeah, this is somebody who was stuck, uh, stuck in a financial situation that caused them to hold back making a decision between lovers. You could have been a part of a third party situation. Um, they are making that uh, choice. And here with justice, karma is balancing out for you. Whoa. Okay. Karma is balanced. Whoa, that's way too many. Okay. I'm just going to throw all those back in. It is balancing out for you. Uh, a Libra could be coming forward and offering you a balanced relationship. This is also somebody that, uh, uh, this Libra or whoever is taking on that energy is very grounded, very financially stable and, um, openly communicative. The, if this is the person that you are waiting on, you're waiting on them to get a divorce so they can offer you a relationship that is balanced that is an equal give and take and it's just emotionally draining you you um, are having a hard time um, holding on to the hope that they're coming back because it did take them so long to make a, a decision because they were in this hermit for far too long they are coming to the end of a cycle where where they are going to um, no longer carry this weight of the relationship doing all the work themselves um, they've been avoiding putting down this uh, situation. Uh, could be because of children. Uh, why is the Ten of Wands here? Thank you. Wow, the Ten of Rods again. So this could be a fire sign as well or somebody that you're just very passionate about. Um, they are coming to the end of that cycle finally. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? If this is somebody new, this is just somebody that... Uh, 
somebody that has a lot going on in their life and they're not going to continue to focus so much on everything but love. They have the seven of pentacles here. So they're working on themselves um, in this time of hermit, but they are holding back, um, investing any feelings. They're very emotionally closed off, emotionally unavailable from the situation. But I feel they had to be in order to make a decision on where to go from here. They are moving forward, um, preparing to make an offer to you. However, they are moving very slow. And I just don't feel, then again, with this, uh, if this is somebody from your past you've been waiting on, I just don't think that you're going to wait around. Um, yeah, way too many again, but I just don't feel you're going to wait around much longer. It might be too late. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Um, yeah, the Seven of Wands. So they've been very defensive on how slow they've been moving. You, they could have blocked you trying to keep all outside um, people out in order to be able to make a decision based on their heart. But they, you feel betrayed by this person. You feel like they should have been here by now. And um, you feel betrayed by this third party situation that they have put you in, that you're ready to invest in this person and you have been investing in this person and they have it in you. And you just feel really... Uh, really let down by them. Why is the page of wands and the page of swords here? There could be children involved, or this is a very immature energy. Um, yeah, they have been moving so slow because they, um, they didn't see the victory and what, uh, they were immature in their actions. They weren't seeing victory quick enough, which is funny if they're an earth sign, but they weren't seeing victory quick enough. So they abandoned ship and went into this hermit mode, even though you could give them the 10 of cups, even though, um, you are their 10 of cups. If this is somebody new, um, they are moving slow and coming forward to make an offer to you. They are getting out of a relationship themselves that was not successful and they, um, will bring you emotional satisfaction, emotional bliss. Your guys' shared energy is the nine of wands. You're getting to the point where you're ready to, uh, put this relationship to rest as well because there isn't quick enough movement and they're not wanting to work on the connection. They just want it to happen or you are just giving up on working on this connection um, due to them not moving forward with the delay. Why is it true here? Yeah, you are, uh, you are gaining your own sense of stability here. You know how awesome you are. Um, and waiting on them is is causing your uh, your creative. It's causing your life to be on hold, and you're no longer going to uh, entertain that idea. Yeah, you could be moving towards an air sign. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person could be coming forward to you to make you an offer as well. Yep. Uh, follow your intuition. It's not going to serve you. See the two of these. Are looking at each other, you have an air sign coming forward and going to make you an offer of love. This is somebody new. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, as we all know. It, it's just those energies that uh, the air sign uh, elements hold. But either way, it's going to be a, a new love offer coming your way after you um, put the burden down of waiting for this person that you have been put in wait for far too long. Um, you do have new love coming in. So let's see what our romance angels have for us today. As soon as I get the cards out of the way here. I just feel like you guys are just very tired of waiting and you're moving forward with somebody who's there and ready to work on a relationship with you. What do you have for our fire signs for Wednesday, the 9th of January? Okay, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And this is going back. Uh, this can go either way. You're either waiting for somebody who you feel is your true love. But for a lot of you, this is this new person coming in, this air sign person or that has air sign qualities. And it's going to be a beautiful, long lasting lifetime relationship full of love and trust. And it's just going to be a romance of a lifetime. So allow those new people in Follow your intuition as far as moving forward or um, or waiting for this person. But I do see divine timing is here and you're going to move forward 
for a lot of you. So, all right, Fire Science, have a great Wednesday. I'll see you next time. God bless.